Well, once again, Lord willing, the elect of Yahweh by Shimei, I wish I'd be edified. And let's get right into it. So um, the first thing I want to do is get the definition of the word repent. And right here you see it says feel or express, which really it's both, right? And true repentance, both of these elements are are um with are are present, right? Because you have that feeling of remorse and you express it by way of not sinning to the best of your ability. Or in other words, keeping the law to the best of your ability. Because what? Sin is transgression of the law. And that's what repentance is dealing with. It's dealing with um, re regret in terms of your sins. Right? So it says, feel or express. It should be feel and express sincere regret or remorse about one's wrongdoing or sin. Right? Feel regret or penitence about. Um, and this is also, all these three apply. View or think of an action or a mission with deep regret or remorse. And of course, that would be uh, pondering upon your sin or sins plural, right? <laughs> Which ponder means to think upon. So, um, hey, that, that brings us straight home. The water you held by Shemi Awashai. Now, let's get the scriptures. So, um, first, I want to get the book of Acts, the third chapter. And in 19 verse, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send you Hawashai HaMashiach, which before was preached unto you. And um, a result of being converted, particular actions will be taken, which is keeping the law to the best of your ability. Right? So repentance is not all about, you know, praying and you know um confessing your sins that's part of it but land backing off of that you have to put forth actions right that basically confirm and and um confirm that repentance if you will low willing you understand right so uh, but next let me get the book of First John, the uh, third chapter and the fourth verse, right? Because as it said, it said, feel or express sincere regret or remorse about one's wrongdoing or sin. Now, what is sin? First John 3 and 4, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law, right? So, um, as far as the expressing factor, you would express it by way of keeping the law or not breaking the law to the best of your ability. Right? You know? And within true repentance, your whole mentality changes, right? It amends, you see? Right? As the brother mentioned. So next, let me get the book of Ecclesiasticus, the 17th chapter, which is more precise. Ecclesiasticus 17 and uh, 24. But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins, which forsaking your sins will be keeping the law to the best of your ability. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less, right? Offend meaning, um, well, offend less mean, basically mean it's sin less, right? Even it, it talks about that in the book of Second Edges, the 16th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, which um, I have that down to bring out, Second Edges 16 and 75 through 76. But this is Ecclesiastes 17 and 26, Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health, and hate thou abomination vehemently. Vehemently meaning intensely, so we're also instructed to hate abomination. So those sins that you committed formerly, you will now hate them after the uh, occurrence of repentance, right? Right? 
So uh, next, let me get the book of Second Edges, the 16th chapter. And let's see, 75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down, right? Offend less, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. You see? <clears throat> right? So improvising upon it furthermore, I think I'm flowing or moving real quick. Uh, Psalms 119. In verse 9, Beth, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? Right? You know, so you start taking heed unto the word of the Lord in terms of things that you, uh, or laws that you can keep, because there are particular laws that we're not able to keep. And that's why we're rehearsing the righteous acts. Right? So you do your best. Judges 5 and 11, they that are delivered from the noise of archers and the places of drawing water, which is talking about America, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Let me also get the book, book of Baruch, the fourth chapter. <clears throat> In the 28th verse, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. As a matter of fact, since uh, the Lord had me pulled that out, let's get Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Most High. And he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. See, so really the Israelites are the only ones that can repent. You know, because the law was given unto the Israelites. And in order to return unto something, you once had to uh, be with that something before. Right? Like if my dog... Uh, runs away and then he returns well it's only returning because he was once with me you see so it's the same for us you have to be an Israelite right <clears throat> so once again Isaiah 55 and 7 let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon I think I got another one. Ecclesiastes 21 and 1. Yep. My son, hast thou sinned? Do so no more, of course, to the best of your ability. But ask pardon, meaning forgiveness, for thy former sins. So, you know, asking for forgiveness is a part of it. But you see the actions that have to be taken or the action that has to be taken. Right, because if you just pray and ask the Lord for forgiveness and you go right back to doing the wicked the, the wicked shit you were doing, even the scriptures speak about that. Let me see if I can get it. Uh, Okay. Damn, what's that scripture? Here we go. Ecclesiastes 34 and 25. He that washeth himself 
Which what did it say? Apply I'm I'm applying this to uh Psalms one nineteen and nine. He that washeth himself, right? How shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? Right? So if you pray, but you go right back to eating pork or you take another, you know, you end up getting some more crab or some shit. Well, here we go. Ecclesiastes 35 and 25. He that washeth himself after the touching of a dead body, if he touch it again, what availeth his washing? So is it with the man that fasteth for his sins and goeth again and doeth the same. Who will hear his prayer, or what doth his humbling profit him? So your prayer is basically in vain if you go right back to doing the wicked shit. Right? You know what? I know this one off top. John 9 and 31. Now we know that the Most High heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of the Most High and doeth his will, him that he heareth. You see? Also, let me get the book of uh, 1 John, the first chapter, in the uh, eighth verse. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. And why is that? That's because all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Most High. So if you say you haven't sinned, well, that's a damn lie. Right? Uh, if we say that we have not that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Nine, if we confess our sins, matter of fact, let me get this precept right here. Let me get Proverbs twenty-eight and thirteen. Right. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and for it, listen. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So you have to confess and take action, right? If you just confess, well, it's, it's in vain. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. And forsake to forsake sin is to keep the law to the best of your ability. Because sin is transgression of the law. When there is no law, there is no sin. Right? I believe that's how it's quoted or how it's stated. When no law is. Here we go. Romans 4 and 15. Because the law worketh wrath. For where no law is, there is no transgression, right? <clears throat> and then let me get that other one. Uh, second address, what was it, 16 and 53? Let not the sinner say that he have not sinned, for the Most High shall burn coals of fire upon his head which said before the Lord power and his glory, I have not sinned. Here we go. Romans 3 and 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. <clears throat> So, um, Lord willing, I'll end it with this. Oh, never mind. I got a few more. Well, I got one, one more. Not including this one. First John 1 and uh, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. <clears throat> so, uh, Lord willing... I'll end it with this, but before getting that, right here, let me see, hold tight.
because repentance is also dealing with the changing of the mind. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, Lord will now end it with this. Romans 12 and 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So with that, Lord willing, you are edified. Once again and forever, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halain La Allahayan Awa Yahweh by Shimi Awashai, by Shima Harakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Shimi Awashai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Why Yahweh by Shimi Awashai, Baba Kasha, Ababa Ba. While Shalom DTA soon and stay sharp. Um, keep pushing since you're Akim wa Agwa. And uh, Lord will announce you in the next lesson. Shalom.